Hey guys, and so I'm going to be drumming um, ginger teriyaki drumsticks. Um, of course, I need ginger, so I'm going to start off by putting in one and a half tablespoons of ginger, ground up ginger, um, onto that to give it that nice gingery base. I'm going to add two tablespoons of soy sauce, just nice in there. And I'm going to add two and a half tablespoons of agave. I'm not adding it all at once. I'm going to just add some of it and then the rest later. You can also use honey if you prefer, um, but I like agave. And then I'm going to add some melted coconut oil. I'm using about one and a half tablespoons. Um, and then, yeah, I'm just going to mix it all together nicely and get everything nice and incorporated uh, in the drumsticks. Just nice and beautiful. Look at that. So yeah, you just want to kind of massage this in, get the flavors all in there. And this is a great um, dish. Uh, you can double it if you have more people um, coming over. But I just had me and my friends, so I made six of them because I don't want to waste any food. Um, these are really great for company and all that stuff. Um, and to that, now I'm going to add a half um, onion, chopped, really roughly chopped. It doesn't matter. It's not, you don't need it, like, fine. Um, and then I'm going to put it in the fridge for an hour but you can leave it in overnight I've done that before and the flavor is just outstanding um but if you don't have time just leave it in there for like 30 minutes to an hour that should be good enough um and make sure to saran wrap it first um. so guys this is the final product as you can see they look beautiful they have a nice color to them um I put them in the oven at 380 degrees for about 40 minutes um, depending on your oven and look how nice they are and I paired them with a side of these nice little baby bok choy um, garlic sesame bok choy things so yeah I'll make a recipe for this soon and I hope you try these yummy ginger teriyaki drumsticks and let me know how you like them good eats